Hi, this is Diane Ellis, and this is the second of two videos to introduce you to line dance steps. The first step we're going to talk about today is the jazz box, and I'm going to turn my back to you so that you can shadow me at home. So with the jazz box, as with all the other steps that we've talked about in the first video, you're going to start moving with your right foot. That means your weight needs to be on your left foot. So we're going to take, for the jazz box, we're going to go forward, back, side, together. Forward, back, side, together. For a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One jazz box takes four step, four counts. Two would take eight. Now if I take that same jazz box and I turn it a quarter turn to my right with forward being 12 o'clock and to my right being three o'clock, it would look like this. It would be forward, back, side, together. Forward, back, side, together. So that's a jazz box with a turn. Sometimes just called a jazz with a turn or a turning jazz. Very often the jazz box ends with a cross instead of bringing your feet together. So it would look like this, forward, back, side, cross. So a turning jazz with a cross is a forward, back, side, cross. The next thing we're going to talk about are the toe fans. A toe fan is quite simply taking your toe and just leaving the heel on the floor and just turning the toe out. So if I were counting that, it would be one, two, three, four. And if I did it on this side, it's one, two, three, four. So that's a toe fan. Heels and toes. Heels and toes are bringing the heel forward, heel, heel, and it's very often combined with a toe, toe, or a heel, toe. So it could be a single heel, a single toe, or a double heel and a double toe. The count would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I did single heels and toes, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So from behind, it, that looks like this. Heel, heel, toe, toe. Heel, toe, heel, toe. The brush. A brush is simply, instead of ending with a touch, you're gonna to end by brushing the ball of the foot on the floor next to the other foot. So for example, if I were to take a forward walk, I'll do it sideways so you can see it better. If I were to take a forward step with a brush, it would be a forward brush, forward brush. That's a brush, and it's simply a styling thing that some choreographers write into their dances. The next one is a coaster. A coaster is a, I'll do this sideways, is a back together forward. So if I were going back on my right foot, it's a back together forward. That is a right coaster, right foot back, and then right foot forward. A left coaster is left foot back, and then left foot forward. So from the side, that is a back together forward. It can be a right or a left coaster step. The mambo step goes in all four directions. A mambo is a forward rock or recover. Anytime you see a rock, it's a recovering step. So it's forward, recover, back. So it's a quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. So here's a mambo forward and a mambo back. They are often done together, but not always. So it's forward, rock, back for four counts, and a, or a back, rock, forward. So it's a one, two, three, hold four. One, two, three, hold four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a mambo forward and a mambo back. Now the step that we did a minute ago, which was called the coaster, very often the forward part is a mambo and then they like to add a coaster after. So it would look like this, mambo forward and coaster back. So once again, that was a mambo going forward, 
and then a coaster going back. That's a good combination to practice because that happens a lot in line dancing. Now the mambo goes in all four directions. We've talked about going forward and we've talked about going back, but we can also go to the side. Side, rock, together, and side, rock, together. That's a one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, hold eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a mambo to the right and a mambo to the left. If I were to do a forward, back, right, and left mambo, this is what it would look like. Forward, rock, back, back, rock, forward, side, rock, together, side, rock, together for a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the mambo. Heel drops and stomps. A heel drop is where you're picking up the heel and leaving the toe. It's, it was the opposite of the fan. The fan was when we left the heel down and we moved the toe. Now we're going to leave the toe down and we're going to bounce on the heel. So that's a heel drop and it's often preceded by a stomp with a heel drop. So it's a stomp with a heel drop. So from the back it would look like this. Stomp, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stomp, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. That's a stomp with a heel drop. A lindy. A lindy is a, a step that is very similar to the chasse that we saw earlier in the other the first video. It's a triple step, but then it has a back rock recover after. So it's a triple step and a rocking step. So it's a triple to the right and a rock behind. So it's a back rock or a back recover. So a right lindy is a triple step and a back rock. A left lindy, triple step and a back rock or a rock recover. Triple step and the timing of these is one and two, three, four, five and six and seven, eight. A right lindy and a left lindy are very often combined together, but not always. Cross points. Cross point is where you're stepping forward and you're pointing with the other foot. That's just a touch because it's going to move again. So we go forward on the left and we point, forward on the right and we point. The timing of your cross point is one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the normal timing of a cross point. It's not much slower than that normally. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's your cross points. A weave. A weave is a side behind, side cross. Once again, it is a side behind, side cross. And it can be done either side, either direction. It can be a right weave or a left weave. And it can be extended. So you're basically taking your side behind, side cross, side behind, side cross. That is an extended weave. So the timing of the weave is a one, two, three, four. And a left weave is a one, two, three, four. That's a weave. Kickball change. Kickball change is where you're going to kick. I'll do it sideways here. Where you're going to kick with your right foot, kick, and then a back rock. It's, for, it's, a, very, it's a quick back, back step. So it's a kick, back rock. Kick, back, rock. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Most of the kickball changes in line dancing occur with the right foot. Of course, you could do one with your left, but that's very unusual. It's usually with the right foot. It's a kick, back, rock. 
And the last one that we're going to talk about in this video is the locking, the forward locking steps. If we, want, if we were to lock, we would take a forward step and then just bring our left foot slightly behind the right and then go forward. It's a triple step, but locking. Locking the foot slightly behind, so it looks like this. Three and four. So once again, it is one and two, three and four. That's a forward lock. You could also do a back lock, back and back. The timing of that would be one and two, three and four. The forward locks are much more common in line dancing than the back locks. That's it for video number two. Enjoy.